we have doors that go in your house that you're building a new house or doing a remodel. Doors for all that. We have glass doors. We have iron doors. We have wood panel doors. Uh, we have barn doors. So you name it. If it's an antique door, we've probably got it. Most of the doors are from France, um, some of the doors from Belgium, some of them from Holland, some of them from Germany, some of them from Egypt. So all the doors though are from the European region. So the best thing is if you come into the store prepared for uh, selecting doors by having your house plans if you're building a new home or if you're remodeling, you have plans, um, it's a good idea to have your plans. If you're not building a new house or you're just doing a small thing where you're just replacing a door, just knowing the size of the door that you're replacing or the size of the hole that the door came out of, it's pretty important when you come in. We gotta know that before we can start selecting. We can take your plans, roll them out, go to the door schedule, look at where every door in the house is that you wanna use, help you to understand what doors will work, what door will might not work, uh, what doors you might want to consider using glass, uh, sliders, um, even louver doors, you know, but yeah, we can definitely help you select that. Doors that um, aren't exactly the size of the door that your plan is calling for or that your hole is if you're doing a remodel, the door is generally not going to be the exact same size. So what we'll shoot for a lot of times is a door that's a little bit bigger that can be trimmed down to fit, uh, but we can almost always fit you in uh, and find a, find a door for that spot. So Most of the time the answer to that is no. Um, it would be a rare occasion that you could come in here and pick a door and it actually go back in the exact same spot without any work to the door. Uh, at a bare minimum, the hinges have to be changed, so most of the time it requires re-squaring the door uh, and putting a door in a new jam. Okay, so there's generally three things that need to be done to a door when you buy a door. Um, first thing is, is these doors uh, are generally 100 to 200 years old, so over time they may have sagged a little bit, so the door has to be re-squared. Okay, so that's the first thing that has to be done. Second thing that has to be done is the door has to be patched. So old hardware like this that's removed that might require a patch or old spots like this that have an old locking mechanism might require a wood patch. So that's the second thing. And then the last thing is the door has to be put in a new jam, which actually helps the door to be able to function because it gives it new hinges. Um, it, it helps it to operate and swing the proper direction and it prepares it to be put in the house. The door will not look brand new when it's finished. Um, the, the thing that the door shop will not do for you after they've worked on your door and put it in a jam is they're not going to sand the door out for you. They're not going to put a finish on it for you. So sanding and finishing is uh, a bare minimum of things that you'll have to do on site with your doors uh, and generally that can be handled with a painter. You know if you have to put your door in a jam uh, it's not going to cost you less than $150 to put a door in a jam. Um, so depending on how many patches need to be done, depending on how large the door is, how heavy the door is, uh, those prices definitely fluctuate based on the amount of labor that has to be done. Yeah, so almost any door in our shop, including the shutters, will work for sliders or barn doors. Um, sliders work on a track. Um, we don't sell the tracks here. Um, we actually refer folks to uh, online companies. Barndoorshardware.com is a great place to buy barn door hardware. Great prices. Um, but the great thing about barn doors or sliders is that they don't require being put in a new jam. So uh, all you have to have is a barn door hardware. You have to have the doors the right size, which you definitely want the door to cover about an inch bigger than the hole that it's going over. Uh, on the left and right and top uh, and other than that you just need the proper hardware so so generally after you get your door back from the door company um, the door is going to need to be sanded and finished um, usually you can get your painter to handle all of that uh, we recommend one or two products for finishing because we we all love the color of the door and if you love the color of the door then 
Don't use any stain or anything like that. Um, you can use a water-based product by Menwax called Polycrylic. You want to use the satin because you don't want the door really shiny. Um, or you can hand wax the door with a product called Fitties, which we sell here at the store. And both of those will um, actually help maintain the actual color that the door is right now, which we uh, tend to like. So if you do want some color in your door and you want it um, maybe a little bit browner, um, we also sell another product that's a hand wax product called Bry Wax. And Bry Wax comes in clear and a, a multitude of stain colors which um, really, really look nice on antique doors when you're just trying to slightly darken them or slightly stain them. So um, we love that product as well. It's a really good idea to buy your doors very early on in the process um, of construction because chances are you're not gonna find the exact door for the exact sizes that you need. So that gives your, um, your framer the opportunity to make your hole the right size to fit the door that you pick. Um, and so early on in the process is usually like a month before you actually start construction. Um, and if you come over and you buy all your doors, uh, you're gonna be thinking, well, what am I gonna do with these doors while we're waiting to put them in the house or waiting to go to the door company? And the answer is, is we've got our own storage. Um, you can store the doors here for up to six months. We have a special place for all the uh, sold doors um, and we'll be glad to store them for you. Um, and the only other thing that you need to consider is our, our stock does turn over quite a bit. So all of the architectural salvage sales are final. Um, we, uh, we will on occasion, um, if, if there's a, a need, allow you to swap a door out as long as the door is of equal or greater value. But there are no store credits or returns or anything like that on the doors. So to wrap it all up, when you come to the Corbel to buy your antique doors, you need to remember just a few things. First of all, remember to come early on in the process. It's best for you to get here before the framing starts on your house so that you can get exactly the doors you want for exactly the spots that you want them in. Second point is um, come prepared. Bring your plans, bring your specifications, any pictures of ideas that you have. Come prepared to select your doors. We need those sizes in order to do that well. So the, the, another thing is, is give yourself plenty of time. You don't want to come to buy two or three doors 15 minutes before we close. It's going to take time. We have hundreds of antique doors in this warehouse and you're going to want to see them all. You're going to go through them all and you're going to want to get the door for your spot. So in order to do that, allow yourself plenty of time. And then finally, um, realize that you are buying a piece of history to put in your home. These doors uh, are going to add charm and character and warmth to your house, uh, but they're also going to make your house special. They're going to make your house unique. These doors are, um, are not able to be reproduced, and nobody in their right mind would ever try to reproduce them with the craftsmanship and the style and the architecture in which they were originally produced hundreds of years ago. So uh, come out to the Corbel. We have great things to choose from. We have great staff to help you get what you need, uh, and we have great things that are going to make your home a wonderful place to live. So come see us at the Corbel.